Oh, finally. Because the topic of the day is charging. Hey guys, my name is Matt and I was approached by Mercedes-Benz to come and check out just how green and sustainable their EQC really is. So come with me for the moment of truth. Okay, so we're charging, but I mean, how green is the stuff really? Also, how long until I get back on the road? Turns out, long enough to get a coffee and do a short interview. Electric cars, yes, they're getting better and better, but how sustainable are they really? Well, the electric car has a lot of advantages, like low maintenance costs, low fueling costs. It's fun to drive, yeah. but you're absolutely right. It's key about charging it with, with green energy. We are here at an Ionity charging station. Of course, they're part of the grid, but we already made sure that they're nearly use 100% green energy. But when it comes to home charging, which is the most convenient for the customer, plugging the car in overnight, it's full in the morning. But there it's actually the choice of the customer whether he opts for a green energy contract or not. Okay. So how do you ensure long distance travel? Ionity is a joint venture of Daimler, BMW, Ford, the Volkswagen Group. And the goal of Ionity is to set up a European-wide network of superchargers, 400 charging locations. If you take the European highway network, it would mean every 120 km there's one of these superchargers. Today I was able to drive the EQC, which was just a, a pretty cool experience for me personally. What it did get me thinking is, is how renewable the, the energy is that charges the car um, and where did that come from, i.e. is that green, is that sustainable, is that renewable? Because if it isn't, then it kind of defeats the purpose of having the electric car at all. Okay, until next time. Bye.